Hi all, it's Piotr. Let's take a look at Marvel Select Edition Daredevil, the man without fear. I must say it was my first album in that format. But I know this story and I read it a lot of times before. For sure I know that Marvel changed the cover because it was not the in on pre-orders you can you could see that it was different cover for that. I don't know when they changed it, but okay, let's say it's fine. I really like how Miller and Romita, especially Romita, presents their devil. Let's see how it looks inside. For me, it's very interesting to read this story again, in, especially in that format. For sure, if someone wished to know about Daredevil, this story is quintessential to read about this, this hero. To know about him. Art is still great, even all those years. I really, really love it. So. It will be a pleasure to reread again in that format. Kingpin. It's freaking great. Let's see what is at the end. Maybe not at the end because from what I saw already there is Quite a lot of bonus stuff. Drafts. So, wow. It will be for sure something to read. All plans for this story. Good, solid bonus stuff.
and then there are pinup by John Romita Jr. Cover pencils. He used cover by John Romita. Prolog to issue number four. Pin up. You use page from Daredevil. So yes, it is quite a lot of stuff in this album. Supplementary material. Okay, cover. Mother Age So if you are looking for something about Daredevil to read about his beginnings and who he is, how he was created, why he's doing what he's doing, and some good story about Kingpin, not only about him, I think that this album that they choose to Marvel Select Edition, it's really, really great. <laughs> 